What's up fellow gamers? This video is going to cover a new version of Zelda Remastered that will be made available once this video is posted. The version is 1.3. So in addition to some bug fixes, this new version also contains the ability to substitute the original 8-bit music of Zelda instead of the SNES style default music if 8-bit is more to your liking. We're going to cover how to use this music, and later in the video, I'll show you how to insert your own custom music if you'd like. So to start, you're going to want to make sure that you navigate to where you have Mason installed. In my case, I have it on a, a separate folder. And assuming you already have it installed, and if you don't, I'll have a link in the description below of an older video that shows you how to install Mason and the remastered pack. And once it's all set up, you can just familiarize yourself with the contents, and inside there should be a pack called HD Packs. Again, assuming you've already done this. And what you have should look something like this. This is the existing Delta pack. So if you'd like to update, you can head over to romhacking.net. And as I mentioned, by the time this video is posted, version 1.3 should be available. You can scroll down and download either the Google Drive or the Mega download link if you'd like. And you can also choose the full pack download or a version that has uh, a little less graphical features if you're, you kind of have a low-end CPU. So I've already done that and I've already downloaded this and I have it in a separate folder here. So to start, it's fairly simple. Your folder should be called something along the lines of this here. You can right click, go to 7-zip and extract here. And these are the contents of the, the new version. You can get rid of this now here. So to update it, it's fairly simple. The easiest way is to simply kind of wipe out your existing Zelda Remastered Pack information here. And if you have other packs in there like Castlevania or, or Metroid, make sure you don't delete those during this process. But you can simply right click and go to copy and paste it here. Okay, at this point I don't need this anymore. And there's a couple ways to actually finish the installation process. I prefer just to right click on this here and go to Extract to Zelda Remastered. And at this point you should be all done. Now you can get rid of this here. Make sure that this folder that you just created matches the name of your ROM exactly. So if your ROM is called something else like Zelda HD, you're going to want to make sure that this folder is called Zelda HD as well, or this pack won't work. But that's actually the only steps that are needed to actually update. And before I actually insert the 8-bit music that's made available in this new version, I just want to show what the game looks like with the SNES style music first, just so you can see the difference. We're going to open up a ROM, double click here, and it'll take a little bit of time to process. That's actually normal because it's kind of a larger pack. But after it's you know thought for a couple minutes, it should look something like this and sound like this. So again, this is the updated graphics and the SNES style music. Now, if you'd like to have the original music as well, that's where this new version comes in. So if you navigate back here to HD packs and you go to alternate sound, there should be a folder inside called 8-bit. So once you're inside the alternate sound folder, there should be a number of files inside with names that look something like this here. And these represent the original 8-bit sounds. What you can do is just hit Control and then A to highlight everything. And then we're gonna go to Copy. Go back to our HD packs. Go inside to Zelda Remastered. And right click and hit Paste. And so this will just overwrite everything that we have with the new sound and new music. So now, just to make sure it worked, we'll get, we're going to go back to Mason, and it should sound different now. So we're going to double click, open, and again, it should take some time to load. But again, that's that's normal. It shouldn't uh, take you know exceedingly long. All right. And just to show 
what it looks like during actual gameplay. All right, so as you can see, it's kind of got the new fancy music, but it's got the older sound. And that's all you need to do. So what if you have your own music and you'd like to insert that into the game? So what I'm gonna do next is show you how to do that. And I've already downloaded some music and specifically, this is Terminia Field from The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And to insert this into Mason, what you need to do is whatever format your file is, you need to make sure it's an OGG file. This one here is actually an MP3. So I'm gonna convert this in a program called Audacity. That's the program I use quite a bit and I recommend it. And if, if you don't have it installed in your computer, I'll have a link in the description below of where to actually get that. So as I mentioned, we're gonna open it with Audacity. And so the two things you're going to want to do are first make sure it's converted to an OGG file, and you're also going to want to make sure that the music that you're inserting loops properly. So in this case, I'm just going to show an example of, you know, if, if you press spacebar, it'll actually start the music, and I don't, I don't want to actually include all that introduction. I just kind of want to start immediately with the the theme song, and I believe that's around here. Okay, so what you can do is you can hit control, and then if you have a scrolly ball on your mouse, you can scroll up to get really close. And I'm gonna hit control and scroll back. And I'm just gonna highlight everything here and then hit these scissors to get rid of it. So to make sure that we don't have any clipping, I'm going to hit control again, control, and get really, really close there. I'm going to highlight that very beginning point. I'm going to go to effect, fade in. This kind of helps uh, eliminate any clipping you have that could possibly pop up during the looping process. Okay. Sounds about right. And now we need to find where the point in the song where it ends. And we can find that. Just hitting spacebar to actually start it. And I think we've got to still find it here. And I'm going to control. If it's around here. All right, so it's around here. All right, so if you just scroll in, and you're going to want to find a spot where the the blue line comes as close as possible to this black line here. That's pretty good, and I'm just going to hit spacebar once again just to make sure that's a good stopping point. Alright, so that's kind of where it repeats itself. So if we just highlight all of that, and hit the scissors, and then scroll in, and we're going to do the same thing, in, except we're going to fade out so we can avoid any clipping. Go to effect, fade out, alright. Now you can just look at the beginning and you can just test to make sure it okay, it's okay by going to transport play and loop play. And then use the arrows to scroll forward just in advance. And we're just going to want to see if this repeating point is, is relatively seamless. Alright, that sounds good. That sounds pretty good. So once we have it ready, you just go to File and then Export as OGG. And you're going to want to go to where you have Mason installed. And go to your HD Packs folder. Zelda Remastered. And we're specifically looking for the Overworld theme. So we're going to scroll down until we find that. 
and now it's it's selecting the overworld theme file and we hit save and that'll overwrite what's in there and okay all right so now we're gonna see if it worked so go back to mason once you've done all that you're gonna want to open your rom Again, it should take a little bit of time to open. And we're just gonna skip ahead to title. All right, so there's our music. So you can pretty much follow that process for any music that you have. You're just gonna wanna make sure that you Save whatever you have in an OGG format and just make sure it loops properly uh, just because it, it keeps repeating the same music over and over and you just don't want a harsh end because, you know, then it doesn't seem intentional. So that's the process to insert the 8-bit bundled music and your own custom music. And if you found this video helpful, feel free to leave a like or a comment and I'll say uh, happy gaming. Thanks. Bye.